June 12. Any protesters we see will have themselves to blame, Kogi government says. The Kogi state government has warned that the state will not tolerate any protest on Saturday, the 12th of June. He said protesters will be ready to face the full wrath of the law. Because of what? Why the wrath of the law? What are they doing? Protesting. And it's such a problem and such a threat. You are violating their human rights, you know. And by this, you are being a dictator. Though the state security advisor, Commodore Jerry Omodara, said no group of persons had indicated interest in protesting, he still warned prospective protesters on Friday to stay away from Kogi while briefing journalists on the proposed nationwide protest slated for the 12th of June Democracy Day. Oof, of all days. All right, that is amazing. He said available data before us has shown that Kogi is the safest state in Nigeria. As we feel the pulse of the nation, we narrow it to Kogi. The pulse of the nation right now is that there are so many online reports of nationwide protests on the 12th of June 2021. We have looked at it. We have done our check through the Commission of Police. And there is no association group or individuals that have applied for permission to protest or carry out any work. The police have not granted permission. This is Nigeria that we're talking about. So let's decide. Because again, a democracy does not say. We're so confused in this country. I don't understand. I don't, we have so incompetent people who are in places of power. And it's just the most dangerous combination that you can ever have. I have cross-checked. So you cross-check, really, <laughs> with other security agencies and... We have seen that as a government, there is no reason for anyone to come out in Kogi or any part of the state to protest on the, on the 12th of June on Saturday. You literally give them the more reason for them to protest because it means that you're not aware of the struggles they go through. And that is why they need to protest because you have proven not to open your ears and fix the issue. So they have to do it in the language that you understand. Protest. It is a known fact that the, the state has remained peaceful when it was COVID-19 time. The government did not shut down the state. We continued our legitimate businesses. When it was time for NSAS, Governor Yahaya Bello came out to support the youths but didn't join in the NSAS protest. This is because the government is with the people. If you are enjoying unlimited security in the state compared to what we're saying in other parts of the country, it is important we give peace a chance. You're basically telling them that <laughs> we give you the bare minimum accepted. Look at, look at you. Are you not embarrassed? You're literally telling people of Kogi State, be be happy with the bare minimum that we give you. Why? Because in other in other states in the same country you live in, they are giving the barest minimum, and that is all they can get. Listen, it is so embarrassing. And again, this statement gives more reason as to why they should come out and protest. Because again, if nothing happens, everyone keeps quiet. You people will keep looking at Nigerians as fools. You will undermine them, and that is why. That is why the government was very much embarrassed during the NSAS protest. Why? Because we took the bull by the horns and the world got to see the Nigerian government for what it really is. He says it is not that the challenges we are having in other states, uh, we are not feeling them here, but the government is making serious effort to nip them before they emanate. It's a bit too late. Just three days ago, three suspects with army uniform came out in Ajao Kusaruko government area, um, the security agency came out and confronted him and they brought them down. Okay, the government will keep on appreciating what the people of Kogi State are doing, giving us relevant information as well as supporting the security agencies will go a long way in combating insecurities. Let, one, let no one obstruct businesses or obstruct movement of people. This is a warning. I have instructed the security agencies. If you see them patrolling, don't be afraid. They're only going out to keep peace. People should continue their normal businesses. The government of Governor Yahaya Bello is notorious for human rights abuses. Thank you very ah, As in such a nice statement with all the jargon that has was been spilled by this man. Just a sentence. The government of Yahaya Bello uh, is notorious for human rights abuses. Two Buhari must go protest. Larry Emanuel and Victor Doka have been detained um, by the Kogi State government since the 5th of April 
despite national and international voices calling for their release, they were humiliated, arrested, and detained for passing or pacing anti President Buhari posters in the state. Uh, I mean, again, it's just how, how scared are you? What do you have to hide? If you have a clear conscience, again, it's embarrassing because it protests me just comes out to say that you're not doing your job effectively. You are very incapable. And that's just what it is. It shows how incapable that you are. And, you know, that's just it. And you're embarrassed. But why are you embarrassed? Because you've done nothing. That's it. So there's no point there's no point trying to limit people's voices. It's the audacity and the temerity that you think that you have a power to do that. But then again, listen, you're they're already in that position of power in which not saying it's justified that they remain there. But um are you surprised? Somebody says any country where injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty of the people. A bad system does not appear wrong to these politicians and people that benefit from it. They do everything to defend it to the detriment of the large society. Meaning in terms of everything, we run a kleptocratic government, um, a kleptocracy. The world suffers a lot, not because of the violence of bad people, but because of the silence of good people. Um, No, I think that the silence of good people serves as an, as an enabler for the bad people to continue but we must not absolve the bad people from their responsibility that they should take for causing a problem i understand the point i'm trying to make but we need to be careful because again the silence of good people only acts as an enabler in which in situations you can say that is even more dangerous but if you commit an act yourself you take responsibility that's just it um yeah uh, somebody says this is the man aspiring to become the next president. That will not happen. Um, Nigeria is governed by hard-hearted conspirators. The fact, I mean, look at Gaba Shehu. Honestly, I classify them in the matter how desperate you are to prove to whoever your bosses, whoever that you want to get to positions, you will not get there. At the detriment of who? Definitely not the Nigerian people. They won't let you happen. And I think, I think this process. We'll see how it goes. I think we've learned a lot um from previous protests i mean and i think i and i and i know that nigerians are very much aware of what is expected of them as a protest because anything can happen but it's a risk they're willing to take why because the country is ours and we can't just allow a few a few bad eggs ruining for all of us put what you think about it in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe